Hello, this is your weasel, and this joy, this brilliance, is Alien vs. Predator. Pre I, that's not how you pronounce those words, but let's pretend like it is. For NES, off to the side is my live translation panel, where we will be getting a live translation of this game. Let's find out. Let's... The, the buttons don't... Do an, start, start is the right button to press, there we go. This is on a real console. And as you can see, every time I press a special button, I collect a little bit of the Chinese text over there. I don't read Chinese, but luckily, Google Translate reads Chinese with precision we're about to discover. After entering the space age, due to the increase in the number of human beings, the Earth can no longer bear the burden of human beings starting to find enough planets in space to carry out immigration. That was sort of close to a sentence and then went off midstream. So, in case it's not obvious, I enjoy finding strange and obscure games, including Chinese bootlegs for the original Nintendo that should never have existed, and this particular Chinese bootleg for the Nintendo that should never have existed is the one, the only, Alien vs. Predator. Shi Dong, best character name possible, is one of the many Shi <laughs> Dong. Okay, to be clear, that's Shi Dong because uh, Mandarin, but still, Shi Dong is one of the many spl space explorers, space explorers who specialize in finding immigrant planets. Now, his spaceship is passing a planet that was successful many years ago, and yet... Well, I guess that's why we're passing it, because it was already successful. Man, that, that text is really slow. Suddenly, the spacecraft was out of control by a strong collision and began to fall to the planet. This plot is oddly similar to the last uh, NES bootleg I played, being Titanic. Shi Dong quickly entered the escape cabin and left the spaceship to descend, with the remainder of the crew on it to die. <laughs> what a what a great guy Shi Dong is. Oh, here we are. Oh, good, the music didn't change. Great. <laughs> is this gonna be the only music in the? Wow, I'm on top of the menu. Can I walk out of the way of the menu, please? Okay. Now, if if my translation knowledge is right, I'm betting that I'm not going to be able to translate any of these. Okay, so the menu is Status, Skill, Article, System, uh... Oh, this is really lovely music. I really like the, uh, the menu music. <laughs> it's just silence. <laughs> okay, probably we could have predicted most of this translation by just familiarity with RPGs, but this- the top says Status, that's Life, Energy, Experience, grade, attack, defense, money. I'm guessing exp or I'm guessing energy is going to be sort of the equivalent of uh, 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 like MP. Just guessing. And it looks like we might get other characters on the left at some point, but for the time being, it's just good old She Dong. Here's our skills. The swords. Sword. That says MP at the bottom. That says MP. Why why call it energy over there if you're just going to call it magic points? <laughs> okay, and what is definitely a correct translation, that top bit there says Middle East. Yeah, pretty sure that's what that says. Uh, the thing that's highlighted says photon knife. I love the idea of a photon knife, which I assume is just the skill I have selected. And at the bottom it just says attacking enemy, so photon knife is just a, a way of attacking an enemy. Fine. <laughs> Speclad in chat suggests that MP is members of parliament. So yes, you sp you you eject members of parliament and uh, they they die presumably. Uh, so this should be articles. This is items I'm holding. Oh god. Oh, I have zero of items. That's interesting. So all of the I guess all of the items you can possibly have it shows you, but some of them you actually have. <laughs> Let's find. There's a lot of repeated characters here. Let's figure out what these are. Okay, so from top left, just moving right and down, that's medicine bottle, energy pack, first aid kit, light energy package, life package, nuclear energy package, money, and then the description at the bottom is increase in life, 100. So I'm assuming 
Yeah, the left-hand side is life rest- restoration stuff, the right-hand side is energy restoration stuff, including the ability to just stick nuclear arms into my face, I guess. that That's probably fine. I'm a nuclear-powered man. Uh, and these will just say, yeah, restores health, restores energy, and that's the amount. Fine. That's easy enough, not a lot to do there. And I assume system just lets us save, right? Yeah, that looks like it's probably save and probably load. And when I click it, it doesn't do anything, so that's definitely a good thing. Can I not save here? Is it start? No? Is this one save? I'd better check what these say. Today in Design by Imbeciles, the left one that is the default selected one when you go to this screen is to load. Why would you want to load from the middle of a game and surely the thing you want to do is save, which should be what's selected? So I'm going to accidentally load out a game at some point in the future. Okay, let's just walk over here and see how much is actually saved. Even your location appears to be saved. Okay, that's good. Okay, I didn't quite catch that, but whatever. Let's hope it wasn't important. <laughs> She Dong says, Great! The protective cover of the expedition armor is not damaged! I don't think you mean the, the door from Chrono Trigger isn't damaged? I don't know if the switch in the main control room can open the protective cover. I have to take out the expedition armor. I well, that really didn't tell me very much. Okay, we can't hmm. We can't seem to get this is the only music in this game, isn't it? really gonna drive me absolutely insane. It's not bad, except for the fact that it's about two bars long and just goes on forever. Okay, with that, that looks like a door, but don't let looks deceive you. If there's actually no other music in this game, then starting in uh, episode two, only I will suffer the music to learn that fact. <laughs> I'm perfectly willing to mute music if it's just the same music for an entire game. At least it isn't glitching out. I don't know why I think that one of these is going to be interactable when none of the others have been. Boy, what an exciting spaceship. This is how you should design a spaceship. Why do they look like doors? <laughs> nope, that's nothing. Great, thank you. Thank you for making it look like a door even though it's not a door. Is there a run button? No. Are there enemies, asks Alberta in chat? No, this is filmed in front of a live studio audience, but if you're watching the video, you are the lucky one, because you don't have to wait around while I translate things. <laughs> Boy, a run button would really not go amiss. <laughs> it's really, it's not that he moves particularly slowly. Okay, we've entered the magenta zone. <laughs> Beware, it's the magenta zone, we've opened a thing. Am I Commander Keen now? <laughs> okay, that, that dialogue ended awkwardly. Also, I've, I've become a black man, so that's, uh, that's one of those changes that naturally happens in life. After opening the protective cover switch... Uh, opening a switch? Okay. She Dong returned to remove the arm. What is this character's actual name in the movie? <laughs> I don't think it's She Dong. <laughs> Return to remove the armor and put it on. At th okay, that's that's armor, not the fact that I have now become a black man. Got it. At this time, the spacecraft had already ignited a fire, and he quickly rushed out of the spaceship, conveniently to the opposite side, so that he could make progress in the video game. Okay, let's uh let's get a quick save on. Shall I shall I use multiple saves? Let's I just loaded Oh my god! <laughs> That's how long it took! That's how long it took to make that mistake! What? That's just the worst menu design ever! <laughs> uh, Okay, that was fun. System. Save is on the right. Oh, that's... that is... 
That is horrendous. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Can you imagine if you couldn't do Google Translate? There's no battle music! In the battle, the music just buggers off! <laughs> So the, they only ripped off one piece of music, and just anywhere where they wanted to use different music, they just didn't? <laughs> they just didn't? Okay, sure, whatever. Okay, it seemed to be having trouble uh, uh, translating any of this, but I'm assuming that's just my name. She Dong, which apparently is sometimes Anton. It, like, almost captures it as Anton. This looks like attack, presumably. Oh, yep, okay, the attack with my, my knifey thing, and I presumably choose an enemy. That's what photon knives look like. Wow, there's act there's sound effects, which are actually pretty rare in these bootlegs, but no sound. No music, that is. So what is this? Oh, items! Okay, okay, that makes sense. So that would be to recover 100 health, which is a little bit excessive. I like the extreme glitchiness as it moves from one screen to another. I got 20-somethings. Oh, is this actually going to stay long enough for me to translate? It never stays long enough for me to translate after a battle. What a minor miracle. This says, got 20 experience. Ham in chat says that there is supposed to be music here, and he's seen footage with music here, so great. <laughs> and we got 10 money units. And what is this? I gained a level or something? Why? Why would it? Why would it? Why? She Dong level upgrade! And back to the best music ever! So now I am level two. Yep. Well, if leveling isn't the right time to save, I don't know what is. Move over to save, okay. Okay. There's a there's a tent over here. <laughs> what? I just got into a battle without moving. I got into a battle, like, while just staring at the, uh, the opening screen. I wanted to capture whatever that said so I can know what the area is, but, uh, that's the one thing that is too fast. Yeah, yeah, 20 experience, 15 money. Ooh, the menu changes color when you're in a different area. Well, welcome to the Teal Vomit Zone. That's where we are now. Okay, welcome to more vomit zone. Boy, I really like the look of the sort of, uh, green garbage at the bottom. I think it's time for a you always will cast death. Oh, did I re- Did my health restore between battles? I think it did. That's surprisingly generous. You always will cast death. Victory and another level up. Those level ups, uh, coming fast and furious for the moment, which means I won't get an opportunity to check whether I was healed, because presumably the level will heal me anyway. Okay, giant hole in the ground. Gauntvin in chat suggests that this seems to be themed more after the, uh, games, the Alien vs. Predator games, than the movie. I don't know how you could possibly guess that from what we've seen so far. <laughs> He always will cast death. Victory! I like how the lava is the only thing that's uh, any color, but- Oh god, I just used a restore divide. No, I didn't! Cancel, cancel. Yes, I canceled using a restore divide him. Good for me. And it did indeed heal me, which is bizarrely generous. Victory and another level up! Wow! Them level ups, though. God, I- they're so careful to actually save. Okay, I just want to quickly check that I didn't accidentally use that item, because I think I might have. I didn't. Good, 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 good. Okay, and what level am I now? I'm level four already. Hopefully this is going to be one of those bootlegs that's, uh, easier than perhaps it should be, rather than impossibly difficult. So far it has not, uh, provided much of a challenge. Nice little, uh, swastika for them to insert there. Thanks, game designers. We are now fighting the miniature version of the giant robots from, uh, 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 uh what, pl what, is, what, what, uh, book am I thinking of? War of the Worlds, War of the Worlds, there we go. 
Well, you know, sometimes when you're designing a level, you just have to throw in a swastika. How could you not? Boy, this is true excitement. It, did this just repeat? <laughs> I'm I'm seeing more swastikas. <laughs> oh, that was a. Com There's a path over there that's inaccessible. <laughs> he always a gas death. Victory at another level up. Jeez. <laughs> this game is. God, move to save. That is just awful. This game is pretty generous with the levels. It's not generous with the uh, battle frequency. Always look as death. Victory. I do like. Well, no, I don't. I, so I don't like the music, but I like the fact that the music actually continues out of battles rather than the common bug of just restarting. You always look as death. Victory. <laughs> Glitter Hugend in chat suggests that it kind of looks like we're just throwing paper airplanes at each other rather than actually attacking each other in any way. There's there's an aspect of that to it. You always look as death. Victory at another level! With the sound effects and lack of, uh, uh, music in the battles, whether that's supposed to be a lack of music or just some issue with my particular setup, it- it feels very Atari- another swastika! Lovely! It feels very Atari 2600 here. You always look ass death. Victory! No level up that time. Only more swastikas. You always look ass death! Victory! Dark Child in chat points out that, uh, they- they- since it goes totally silent during the battle, the- all the music is celebratory, like victory music. <laughs> Just having this music again is your celebration of victory. You win, and they're like, oh, celebration time! Pump it up! He always will cast death. Victory at another level! <laughs> Oh, the- the excessive levels. The- the excess of the levels. What level am I now? Seven! Already! I haven't done anything yet! <laughs> well, I guess we'll continue wandering through, uh, uh, vomited Rice Krispies zone next time. Until then, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, I've got thousands more! Just click that channel button. Cheers! From Yaweasel.